Okay, so we all run into this issue sooner or later when you've got some old footage from one of those unforgettable vacations. The problem is it's on mini DV, or worse yet, VHS tape. So how do you convert your media so it looks okay on your widescreen television set? Start by right-clicking on your sequence within the Final Cut Pro browser window. Then choose Settings from the contextual menu. Then click on the Load Sequence Preset button. In this example, I'll choose Apple ProRes LT 1920 x 1080 60i. Go ahead and edit your clip to the new sequence. A dialog box will appear asking you whether or not you'd like to match the sequence settings to your clips. Press No. Because the original footage is 4x3 and we are now working within a 16x9 sequence, you will have to zoom in to hide the black borders. Double click on your clip within the timeline. Then click on the motion tab at the top of the viewer window. Adjust the scale parameter until the black edges disappear. Now, if you choose, you can quickly go through all your clips and add edit points between each scene change. To do this, use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl-V to add edit points between each scene. When you're done, and if you decide you don't want a particular clip, you can delete it by highlighting it and pressing the Shift plus Delete keys. Okay, you may also want to adjust the area within each clip that's been cropped out. Click on the Video tab at the top of the Viewer window. Set the Playhead Sync menu to Open. Navigate over to the top of the Canvas window and set the View Menu button to Image plus Wireframe. Now you can drag the playhead through the canvas and make changes to any areas where you need more or less headroom. Move down to the Timeline window and press Command-A to highlight all your clips. Right-click on them and choose Make Independent Clip from the contextual menu. Now drag all the clips into the browser window. Since all the clips are independent, you can give each clip its own unique name. The beauty of this workflow is that these clips point to the same original master clip. Therefore, it's much easier to manage your media. That's it. For other great tips like this, or to enroll in a Final Cut Pro training course, visit GeniusDV.com.